In our previous video of Agent Development Kit, we have used Google Search as a tool and we have created our own agent based on Gemini 2.0 and using that we can go out to the internet and get a result and the Gemini model will summarize the result for you. But for that we needed internet connection as well as we needed one environment variable with the API key of Gemini. But if we have a local LLM running on your local system, how to connect that using ADK or Google Agent Development Kit? Well, for that case, I will be using Olama. And what is Olama? Olama is basically one software or a platform where we can run large language models on our local system such as laptop or something like that. And once you type in olama.com in your browser, you will get this page, something like this, and you will get this download button. Once you click on download button, it will take you to this page. And here we have three flavors, macOS, Linux and Windows. For me it is Windows. Just click on this download for Windows. It will download the exe for you. And once it is downloaded, just double click on that and follow the instruction. It is really straightforward. And if you are on Linux, you may try this command. And if you are on macOS, you can download the macOS version as well. Once it is installed, we can play with any model. What is a model? That's a LLMs which are publicly available or the open source ones. Once you click on models, you will get many options like this. DeepSeek, Llama and many others. I have already installed Olama on my system. Let me check that. We are inside Google ADK folder which we used in the previous episode. So what I'll do, let me put Olama command, simple like that. And it is giving me some options like this. That means it is installed properly. Now let me type in Olama list and I have basically installed two local LLM models which is Llama 3.2 forget about the other one. If you want to pull something any model for example if you want to pull this Gemma 3 you can choose any version type in Olama pull Gemma 3 depending on your internet speed it is going to download that for you. I will basically cancel this one as I have two models already ready and for this demonstration I will be using Llama 3.2. Let me clear up screen. Let me enable the virtual environment. For that I'll do source.venv which we used earlier using uv and activate. Source your activate command. Now it is activated the python virtual environment. Now for today's use case I will need one more library. So for that what I'll do uv then pip install light llm and this light LLM will be the bridge between our Olama or the local LLMs and Google ADK. Let's hit enter. Now it is going to download all the packages and that is done quickly using UV. Now Olama and our light LLM is ready. It's time to create our code. Let me close out this terminal inside Google ADK folder. I'll create another folder and let me name it something like this Olama Lama and let me create files like this. Same as previous agent.py another new file the init file init.py and we don't need any environment for this case as we are not using the public LLM like Gemini or anything like that we don't need an API key okay now let's start same as previous from Google ADK import agent then from again Google ADK this time we are going to use models inside models we will be using light LLM then import light LLM. You have already seen this agent one in the previous episode. This time from Google ADK models we are importing light LLM as simple as that. Now let me define a model any name to this object variable maybe Olama model and I will use light LLM then the argument is model is equal to and we have to use Olama underscore chat and what is our model that is Lama 3.2 something like this. We have to define Olama chat slash whatever model not necessarily you have to use Llama you can use any other like deep seek or anything like that. Now let us define the agent similar thing I will be using agent then let me give it a name uh, not this one name Olama local agent something like this. We need few more arguments now model what model I am going to use model equals to and we will be passing Olama model and behind the scene this Olama model is using light LLM then we need a description if I can type it right or something like this an agent powered by Olama local model then instruction and let me give it a simple one you are a helpful assistant or something like that and this time 
we are giving blank tools. That means we are not using any tools. In our previous episode, if you remember this one, we used the Google search tool from pre-built tools, but this time we will not be using any tools. And I'm missing a couple of comma over here. Let me put those. Now seems to be okay. We need to do a couple of more steps. Let me clear my screen. We need to define one environment variable which will be picked up by ADK. The command is something like this. Export Olama API base and wherever your Olama is running, in our case it is localhost and by default it uses 11434. This is the port number and let me hit enter and very quickly check this link localhost and if I press control click this response should be there that means our Olama is running behind the scene that is good and the same thing which we did earlier we are at the parent folder and if I put ls I'll see the previous one like google search that is there and Olama 3.2 which we have created now this folder is there and the init.py yeah. in the init.py we have to define from dot import agent yeah it was needed now I think it should be good enough. Simply we need to type in adk space web and hit enter. For the first time it may take little bit of time. And here we go. The server has been started and we can get it at port 8000 as usual. So let me open that localhost colon 8000. Hit enter. And this time in the drop down, in the drop down we should see two variants are there. The previous one was Google search and this time the local olama. Let's select that. Hello there. Okay, I was doing one mistake. In the import, the light LLM, LLM first L should be capital, then the next L should be small L and that is it. This light LLM is being used here and once you do the ADK web again and if you greet it, it will say something like this. I am Olama local agent and something like that. And let me give it a task. Maybe I need a Python program. Can you create a Python program to get the common divisors of three numbers anything like that and let's hit enter and if you have a good gpu the response should be good in my case i have only 4 gb gpu in the left hand side you will see few options are there like events state artifacts sessions and evaluation and in the first conversation the zero once you click on that you will get something like this it has used our olama agent there is no tool for our use case and it will give you a brief overview of that and if you use a tool along with your agent, it will give you which tool it has used to give you the response. This is the event which has occurred. If you click on request, you will see this is the request which we have made. Role was user and you will check the response. This is the response we got for the first. You can close this one. This is for troubleshooting or you can basically debug it. But we have already got the answer for our query. Now let's find it. Yeah, it has defined a method or function and something like this. You can ask any question. What is the square root of 16? Something like that. The answer is 4 because 4 multiplied by 4 is 16 which is pretty good. We are not reaching out to the internet. We don't need any API key or anything like that. We can simply use Google ADK and we get this chat window which is really handy and if we check we have only written around 10 to 12 lines of code and that is it. You can basically interact with any model if you are using Olama. And that is it for this video. Let's catch up in next episodes where we can try out more things, maybe multi-agent or maybe create our own custom tool or anything like that. But I must say thank you for watching this long. Stay tuned.